If you're thinking of starting an online community, you might be wondering where the best place to let your members communicate and have conversations would be. You have lots of options. You could build it into your WordPress site using a tool like BuddyPress or BBPress for forums. Uh, you could also look at starting a Facebook group or a Slack community. And one of the best options we've seen lately is a Discord server. So it's a little bit technical, but I'm going to walk through setting up a Discord integration for Paid Memberships Pro. It allows members to join your membership site for free or for fee, and then they'll have the option to connect their Discord account to your server and then join the server fund, talk to the community members all in that private space. It keeps memberships in sync with the server access. So when they lose membership, they get removed. And when they join a new level or upgrade, their roles can get changed on the server. So let's set it all up. Here I am in my demo site. The first thing I'm gonna do is install the Discord integration for Paid Memberships Pro just by navigating to Plugins, Add New. I'm gonna search for Discord PM Pro. It's a free plugin available in WordPress.org that you can install. This site does already have Paid Memberships Pro set up with a few membership levels. So this is the next thing to install. I'm going to install and activate that plugin. So now you can go to Memberships Discord settings. And then now is where it gets a little technical because we're going to have to set some things up to connect our website to our server. So I do already have a, a Discord server set up in the background, but I didn't do any of these technical steps. So the first thing you need to do is go over here to the Discord developer portal. It's located at discord.com forward slash developers forward slash applications. You need to be logged into your Discord user account in order to access this area. So I'm gonna click new application. I'll call this the must love dogs Discord community. Uh, the name doesn't show up anywhere in particular, but you can um, set it up yourself. You don't really need an app icon or any of that, but of course you're welcome to do it. So the first thing you need for your WordPress site, go over to this OAuth2 section and copy the client ID. So that will get pasted here into your WordPress site. The next thing you need is this client secret key. So I'm gonna click to reset it and it's only visible once. So just click set it, save it somewhere and you'll have that key. The redirect URL is what people will be sent back to in the membership site after they're connected in Discord. So this is a field that you don't change, but you do populate it here in your app. So you'll say, click here, add redirect, and click save changes. So the next thing you have to do in your Discord developer section is create a bot. So you can create a fake username for it, you know, dog lover 101 and you'll need this token key. So I'm just gonna say reset token, and that'll give me the token for my bot to put on my membership site. So here's this Discord bot token. And then the final thing is this Discord server ID. So this is happening within the Discord application. I do have Discord on my desktop here. So I'm gonna flip over there and now we'll get some more settings. So uh, to reveal your client ID, you need to first uh, update your user account to be in developer mode. I don't know why, but um, to do that, you click the gear where your face is and down in the right here or the left here, you'll see advanced. And then you can turn on what's called developer mode. Um, so once you do that, it makes it available to you to find your copy or server ID. So um, just pick, I'm in a few servers here, one's for our family, uh, but you'll click here to the server you created, this Muscle of Dogs server, right click and click copy server ID. And that's the field that you want to paste into your membership team. So save settings here. And it wants me to connect my bot. Okay, let's connect our bot. Add a bot to the server, create commands. Perfect. Continue. And then the level of permission for the bot. Administrator, yes. I'm going to authorize myself. And then I just heard a beep in the background. So let's see what happened here. Uh, oh, I'm logged into the server now. Cool. Dog Lover 101 hopped into the server. So now we know we can confirm here in the site that our bot user account correctly got added to our server. Um, so let's check back on our membership site and make sure everything looks good. Here, cool. All right, bots connected, settings saved. That's all you have to do. You can dig into more of the settings with this plugin. Uh, there's something called role mapping, so you could give people a, um, an enhanced access on the server to do certain things. 
Um, you can customize the appearance of the default welcome messages. When people join your membership site and connect their Discord user account to your server, it's going to send them a DM welcoming them to your new community, your new server location. So these fields let you customize that and customize the data that's shown on that welcome message. One thing I am going to do is copy this Discord connect button because I want to put it in my membership account and confirmation pages. Perfect. There's no other changes here. You can change the color of things and the text on buttons. Look at logs for how what's going on there. Check out documentation and other stuff. So um, what I said I wanted to do was add it to the confirmation page. So let's go to membership settings pages and edit our confirmation page. Um, you'd only want to do this if you know that um, all users were getting access to the Discord server. It would be a good place to put it on this page. Um, if only some of your members are, you'd want to put this within the require membership block or if within the membership short code or otherwise protected. So connect with our community discord, and then I'll put that short code here. Perfect. This will just show at the bottom of the membership confirmation page. It does also show, I'll show you where, on by default, it'll show on the user's uh, profile page because it is kind of something related to their profile. It's syncing their WordPress user profile to their Discord user account. So by default, this is where it gets placed um, to connect them to the Discord account. All right, so let's test this all as a brand new user to our membership site. I'm gonna log out of this admin user and go back through to do a free checkout for a new test user account. So test Discord will be our username, sure. Fill this stuff out quick. And then I will, I'll just create a new Discord user account so that it shows you the full experience as if we were signing up as a new person um, since I already have my own Discord account. Perfect. So I'll submit and confirm. And then I'm going to say connect to Discord. And that's going to pop up this modal. Um, this is all the information to connect what information the server is going to know about the user and collect for you on, on the server side. I think if we had set up a, a picture here in our app, we would have a cute icon here. Actually, I need to register for Discord, right? Cool. And we'll make our birthday, make us older than 13 so Discord doesn't get mad at us. And continue. Perfect, so now we have a new test user account uh, it's showing us what we want to connect to. We're going to click Authorize, and then we should um, connect to our Discord now. Let's see. Connected to the Discord. Cool. All right. Let's tab over to our Discord account, and it says here, Welcome, Dog Lover 202. Wave to say hi. And then you'll see here I have a new DM from the owner of the site. Welcome. Your beginner membership is signed up. Um, thanks. It never ends. Cool. So now I can access on the server. I can see the new people have signed up and joined. So that's pretty much all that the feature is. If people wanted to disconnect, they could. Yeah, but now you have a members only community. It's all free software, all free tools. A little bit technical to set up, but not impossible. I believe you can do it. I'm in a lot better than a tool like Slack or Facebook, where there's a lot of other noise and other things going on with this Discord server. It's really a focused communication area. Depending on the technical level of your users, they may already be on Discord, so that makes it pretty easy for them to sign up for your membership and to begin talking in those communities. It's kind of a part of their everyday apps that they're checking. So check out Paid Memberships Pro. Check out this Discord integration. I'm Kim Coleman. I'm a founder here at Paid Memberships Pro. Sorry for the technical setup here. Not everything is this technical when you're passing around these unique developer IDs, but it is the way to get this all set up with no-code tools. Check out the rest of our videos, and I hope to see you back soon.